Okay, let's talk about the next thing that is location of roots. Let's start this thing. Let us consider the quadratic is given as fx equals ax square plus bx plus c, right? If we say ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 and we talk about the roots of this equation. Let the roots be alpha, beta. In fact, we observe many cases. Let's discuss few ones and try to understand the approach how we crack this kind of questions. Say, for example, it is given both roots of this equation are positive or both roots are greater than 2. Both roots are less than 2. Roots are lying in the interval minus 2 to 2, etc. This kind of situations may be there. So we need to understand how we tackle this kind of questions say both roots are less than a number k. Now when we talk about the quadratic ax square plus bx plus c it may open upwards or downwards depending upon the value of a whether it is positive or negative correct. It will open upwards if a is positive it will open downwards if a is negative correct now suppose the question is given both roots are less than k say here is a number k this is x axis y axis both roots are less than k this way or this way correct first thing we have to notice about this kind of questions is the discriminant since roots are there, so d has to be greater than 0 or greater than or equal to 0 depending upon the case. Here I have said both roots are less than k means roots may be equal as well. Correct? So d has to be greater than or equal to 0. This is first important condition we will always be applying. Second, both roots are less than k means alpha is less than k, beta is less than k. So we can see here sum of the roots that is alpha plus beta is less than 2k means we have minus b by a is less than 2k correct other way this point is called minus b by 2a minus d by 4a we also discussed in case of functions when we were talking about the minimum maximum value. Similarly, here this point is minus b by 2a minus d by 4a. So, we can see that k is greater than minus b by 2a. k is greater than minus b by 2a. Correct? Third, a f k. f k is positive if a is positive. f k is negative if a is negative. So, we can observe that overall product AFK comes out as positive. In fact, these two conditions are very important. We usually apply for all cases of this type. Third one is required to distinguish. Say for example, I consider both roots are greater than K. Both roots are greater than k means d will be greater than or equal to 0, the first condition, correct? Because k will be here. So, both roots are real means d has to be greater than or equal to 0. Second, a f k. When k is here, again the situation is same, k f k comes out positive. So, a f k is positive. Third, from sum of the roots or the vertex here we can see that k is less than minus b by 2a this is k and this is minus b by 2a so k is less than minus b by 2a if the question says both roots are lying between k1 and k2 we will club the two situations right 
if the question says that exactly one root lies between k1 and k2 quite common case exactly one root lies between k1 and k2 if parabola is opening upward or opening downward say here is k1 here is k2 k1 k2 exactly one root lies between k1 and k2 first important thing is d has to be positive equality cannot be there because exactly one root means roots are distinct correct second f k1 f k2 the product will be negative one is positive other is negative whether opening upwards or downwards not going to affect the case so these two conditions are sufficient to determine required result this is clear take an example on it